Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Wednesday, September 2nd, 2015, and we're excited to have with us Meat Wave. Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Meat Wave. Thank you. What's up, dudes? Does everything feel good? Feels Sound great. good and everything? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, how long have you guys lived in Chicago? Maybe it's different answers for each of you, but... Uh, about 10 years. Okay, sweet. I think all of us within the last, like, 10 years, yeah. yeah. Have you moved around a fair amount or stayed in, like, one location, basically? I lived in Madison for a couple years. Okay. But I came from the town of Huntley. Uh, to Chicago. Yeah. And then I'm I, from Crystal Lake. Right, yeah. Yep. We're all from kind of the same area. Okay, We cool. moved to the same area. Yeah, and then from in this space, do you have a neighborhood that, like, you've enjoyed the most? Maybe it's the one you live in now, or... I was living in Avondale. That was great. Yeah, and cool. I just moved to Logan Square. That's that's cool. Yeah. What did you like about Avondale, or, like, what stood out to you as enjoyable? It was really, like, quiet, family-oriented, mm. I feel like, and now I'm in, like, the complete opposite yeah. Uh, setting. Yeah. But it's good. Yeah. Uh, as far as like Logan Square goes, do you see it? Um, I mean, people talk about it like really blowing up and you know turning into like a hipper spot. Do you see that being the case living there? Yes, um, plain yeah. and simple. Yes. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> in in what ways? Like a lot of influx of population or lots of things popping up or? There's like a thousand more bars now. Okay, sure. And a lot, of, restaurants. A lot of people around. Yeah, I mean it's it's not it's not all bad. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also kind of a destination spot now. On the weekends, I feel like a lot of people from out of the area, come in to go to the, the nightlife. Yeah, area. yeah. What about uh, late night spots that you guys dig? Like if you're getting food at like four in the morning, where, where do you go? Well, there was that place on the corner, but it's um, El Charo. 
That's, oh, yeah. that's going away, I guess. I guess it's going to be turned into some, another cool bar. Oh, okay. Right. Well, sweet. But it was a, a nice <laughs> little Mexican that. place on uh, Fullerton. Yeah. There's, uh, there's a woman that sells, like, sausages and hot dogs and stuff. Oh, sweet. Like, oh, just yeah. a stand or whatever? Love her. Little. She's got a grill. She saves the day. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, thank you guys very much for coming out and playing for us. You can go ahead and take it away with your next song when you're ready. Audio Tree Live, we're here with Meat Wave. Why don't you guys just roll into your next one if when you tune up and stuff? And I will say that they have a new record um, titled after that song right there, uh, Delusion Moon, out September 18th. So you can get that. And as far as Audio Tree is concerned, we have a festival this Saturday and it will be live streamed um, from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. So you can check it out. Lots of sweet bands. Take it away, dudes. Thank you. Watching Audio Tree Live, we're in the studio with Meat Wave. 
Uh, I would like to talk about sleepovers a little bit. Uh, my little siblings who are, uh, let's see, 11 and 13 just went back to school. And I remember being so excited after summer was done because like that means you can hang out with your friends, you know, after school or whatever. Did you guys, uh, like a sleepover is a thing you did when you were younger? Totally. Sure. Yes. Um, and uh, did you ever have to leave a place because you were homesick? No. Oh, nice. Nope. My mom always said that if I was at an awkward party, I could call her at any time I, that I wanted, and she would come pick me up. And the, but it never happened. Never happened. Oh no. yeah, dude, that's awesome. I was always a okay. <laughs> what about a friend staying at your place who had to leave? No, nah, I don't I think so. No. I think that might have happened once. Okay. Why? Do you remember it at all, or yeah? I why? don't know. It was pretty early. It was it was probably at like seven or eight o'clock. Oh yeah, so they just didn't want to be there at all. They then. started crying. <laughs> Um, it had nothing to do with me. <laughs> yeah, they just left. Huh? Uh, did you ever? Uh, what I would always do is try and get a video game from Blockbuster and yeah. beat it. Um, and and I don't know. I remember getting Earthworm Jim two, I think, oh, man, and totally failing at that. Yeah, isn't that? Can't why is it? that game so hard? You need know. you need Shark or whatever game Game Genie, one of the things to cheat it. Yeah, it was a very exclusive game for people that were incredible at video games. At video games, yeah, that and Aladdin, I think. That Aladdin I game beat was Aladdin. Also... Really? I had a, yeah, I had a neighbor. Um, she was older than me. We would just play Aladdin all the time until we beat it. Dude, the snake, though, is so hard to beat. Yeah, I don't... I don't <laughs> we spent a lot of... It was like a whole summer project. Really. Yeah, yeah, to try and defeat that. Sweet. Okay, dudes, so you can roll it to your next one when you're ready. <laughs>
watching Meat Wave on Audio Tree Live. Before we go into the last one, would you just tell me about a few Chicago bands that you're excited about? Maybe that released records this year or are doing music this year? Um, we love Milk Belly. Yep. Uh, I love yep. Oozing Wound. I think everybody does. Um, File Tip. File Tip is amazing. What do you like about um, those bands, if you would? Like, like, what's special about Oozing Wound to you or um, what do you think is unique about them? I think they're all really well... Th- they do really aggressive songs that are really well thought out and they all kind of have a sense of humor about it too. Okay. Um, they're just creatively aggressive. Sure. Cool. Others? Um, yeah, I'll take Milk Belly. I'm a huge fan of Milk Belly. I think they make music that's really like, it rides the line of like grotesque and really like sweet and beautiful. Mm-hmm. And they interchange through that really, really well. Um, I just think they're amazing. Yeah. Cool. Freeman? Um, I guess I'll take file tip then. Sure. Uh, they're a two-piece band, drums and bass. Um, incredible musicianship. Sweet two-part harmonies, like super tight, and just really cool songwriting. Aggressive songwriting. Sure. Hilarious guys, too. But in a very fun way. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys yeah. generally into aggressive music? I mean, overwhelmingly, or? Not entirely, but yeah. Sure. Yeah, when something's like really uh, intense, there, there's not a lot better than that. Yeah. You know? Do you see you guys being inspired at all or influenced by other bands, like other Chicago bands, maybe the ones you've just referenced or, um, yeah, in the scene? Yeah, for sure. Definitely. I think, uh, and like our friends' bands, like Rad Payoff and High Priest and all them, I think we, we're all, I think everybody's kind of influenced by each other. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yep. All right. Um, so the new album, Delusion Moon, will be out September 18th, so you can check it out and remember to watch the Audio Tree live stream uh, this Saturday. Take it away, guys. Yeah, thanks for having us.
This is Audio Tree Live. We've been in the studio with Meat Wave. You can get their new record, Delusion Moon, out September 18th and come to Kalamazoo, Michigan to the Audio Tree Music Festival this Saturday. If you can't get there, then you can watch it online live uh, from 4 to 11 p.m. Thank you guys very much. For Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, thanks to awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, yes. camera and lighting crew, making it look beautiful. And viewers, thanks for watching. You can support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks and send a shout via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. Thanks. <laughs>